several species of moths have caterpillars that feed on cactus in the United States. The exotic cactus moth, with the red and black larvae shown here, is native to Argentina. It was introduced into Australia and into other countries as a biological control agent for prickly pear cactus. Unfortunately, it was accidentally introduced into Florida and in recent years has expanded its range to Louisiana on the Gulf Coast. These larvae feed inside the cactus cladodes and kill the plant. If this species reaches Texas and spreads on to western states, it will be a serious threat to the native cactus and desert ecosystem, as well as to cultivated cactus grown in Mexico as food for both livestock and humans. Identification of the cactus moth is essential to monitoring its dispersal and detecting it in new locations. Sung Mi Lee is holding a museum drawer with different species of cactus moths, most of which are native to the United States. Here is a native species which is not a threat that's very similar to the exotic cactus moth shown here. The male reproductive structures have characters to differentiate these two species, but this requires the dissection of genitalia for identification. Dissections require high-quality Dumont forceps, both straight and curved tips. Vanna scissors, although an expensive tool, are optional for cutting membranes. A triple zero camel's hair brush is an essential tool. A hypodermic syringe with a number 30 needle is useful for injecting alcohol into areas that can't be reached with forceps. A probe or other tool is needed for adding the mounting medium to the slide. We use Syracuse watch glasses for the dissections. A 10% potassium hydroxide solution is needed for softening the abdomen and digesting extraneous tissue. We use a straight lip file for an individual abdomen. ESNY is a very good stain for sclerotized structures which we use in a plate of wells. We sometimes use chlorosol black for staining membranes. Euperol is used as a mounting medium. This can be thinned with essence of Euperol. Slides and cover slips, which are advertised as pre-cleaned, need further cleaning, and we store these in containers of 100% alcohol until they are used. In addition to water, 20, 70, and 100% solutions of alcohol are needed. After a specimen is selected for dissection, the specimen label data are entered into a logbook and electronic database. A color-coded label with a dissection number is made for the specimen, with a duplicate that is carried along with the detached abdomen. The recording of data and the numbering of slide preparations is one of the most important aspects of making the dissection. The abdomen is removed by pressing upward on its underside. It's then wet in 100% alcohol and placed in 10% potassium hydroxide at room temperature for about 12 hours or overnight. For quick dissections, a hot plate can be used to heat the vial at a low heat. The following morning or after 12 hours, the abdomen should be soft and partially digested. It's transferred to water to begin the cleaning and dissection. The dissection number should be carried along with the specimen. Under the microscope, the abdomen is pressed flat so that the dorsal and ventral surfaces oppose each other, and it's tamped to remove the air bubbles and extraneous material inside the abdomen. A camel's hairbrush is used to gently tamp the abdomen, beginning at the posterior end and moving to the open anterior end. A hypodermic syringe can be inserted into the open end of the abdomen to shoot in water to eject the extraneous material. The initial cleaning begins with brushing each segment from side to side, never lengthwise, while using the curved forceps to hold the abdomen near the area that is being brushed. Scales are more easily removed in alcohol than water, 
but alcohol makes the specimen more brittle and subject to damage. The abdomen is placed in Giesen stain in a water solution for four hours and the dissection number is written on the well lid. After the staining, the abdomen is transferred to 20% alcohol in a watch glass and further cleaned with a camel's hairbrush. The final cleaning is done in 70% alcohol. The genitalia are removed from the remainder of the abdomen and the phallus is removed from the genitalia. After final cleaning, the abdomen can be cut lengthwise with Vanna scissors and then it and the genitalia placed under chips of glass in 100% alcohol to position the parts. If the slide and cover slip has any debris, fingerprints, or lint, this can have an adverse effect on microscopic examinations, especially at high power, as well as imaging the genitalia. Cheese cloth works well for cleaning the slide and cover slips because it doesn't leave any lint. We're using an 18 millimeter round cover slip, although there are larger and smaller diameters available for different size specimens. We clean the cover slip similar to the slide. We prefer this round cover slip over the square one because of the ease for getting even coverage of the mounting medium and the dissection. We use a tin plate for the slide to position the medium and genitalia. Using a probe or other applicator, we apply three to four drops of Uperol mounting medium on the slide. We have different size circles for different size cover slips. We number the slide with a dissection number. We transfer the genitalia and phallus to the medium on the slide while it's examined under the microscope. We push them to the bottom of the medium so they won't move when the cover slip is added. After the abdomen is added, we manipulate it so that the dorsal and ventral sides are facing up. You will note that the abdomen here has a bluish color and this is because after we stained it with eosin, we dipped it in chlorosol black for about four seconds to stain the membranes. The final step is to cover the dissection and medium with a cover slip. Before placing the cover slip on the slide, we brush the surface with essence of Uperol, which is a thinning agent that allows a cover slip to cover the medium very quickly. We place the cover slip on one side of the medium to make contact, and then allow it to drop to cover the dissection. It's important to keep the slide flat until the medium is dry. This may take several months at room temperature, but this can be faster if a slide warmer is used. The slide is labeled with the name of the species, the sex, locality, type of mounting medium, and the dissection number. The genitalia can now be studied and used for making an identification.